In this section, we're going to be talking about um, building quadratic models. So we're going to start off with, uh, they're going to give us some scenarios, um, and then we're going to try and come up with our equation and then do some things with it. So for our very first one, it says the price P in dollars and the quantity X sold of a certain product obey the demand equation. And then they've given us this demand equation, P equals negative 1 6 X plus 100. Well, our problem here says find a model that expresses the revenue R as a function of X. And then it says remember that R equals X times P. Well, we may or may not remember this, but uh, revenue equals quantity times price. That's what this is saying. So if we know that revenue equals quantity times price, well, we're supposed to be expressing the revenue R as a function of X. So looking at that in function notation, it would look like this. The revenue, where X is my only variable, equals. Well, to follow, finish following the formula, we can say that is X times P, but we cannot put P in our function because remember according to this notation this is telling us that X is going to be the only variable we see. Well there has to be some way then for us to replace this P in this formula. This is exactly why they gave us this demand equation up here because we can replace P with the negative 1 6 X plus 100. Now looking at this function, it truly is a function where x is the only variable that you see. Let's go ahead and let's clean this up. Distributing our x out, uh, we'll get negative 1 6 x squared plus 100 x. So this is our revenue function. It talks about quantity times price where quantity is our only variable. Now the next part of this problem says what is the domain of that R, that revenue function. Well, Looking back up here at the revenue function, we need to ask ourselves what type of function this is. We've talked about three separate types of functions so far, rational, radical, and polynomial. This one happens to be a polynomial function. Therefore, the domain is always all real numbers, or negative infinity to positive infinity. Now for the third part of the question, it says, what is the revenue if 200 units are sold? Well, we came up with an equation that would relate the number of units sold to the revenue. So we can use that here. This basically is just taking our revenue function and evaluating it for 200 units. So that would be negative 1 sixth times 200 squared plus 100 times 200 in place of x again. And then when we plug this into our calculator, be very careful about your uh, parentheses and things, we should get um, $13,333.33. So this would be the revenue if we sold 200 units.